crying is an important means of communication for babies. It plays a crucial role in ensuring the survival, health and development of the child. Being able to recognize different types of crying is therefore the key to effectively meeting. Crying is sometimes distressing but it's one of the few ways for babies to communicate their needs. Even when babies are getting the best possible care, they can cry for a long time. Some infants can cry up to 5 hours a day, with the most crying peaking at 6 weeks and usually lessening by the 4th or 5th month of age. After 5 months, crying is more intentional and related to events taking place around them. Parents may also take comfort in the fact that by reliably and consistently responding to their baby's cries, they are building a strong child-parent bond. Crying is an important means of communication available to babies during early infancy, that is from birth to three months of age. At this stage in their development, infants are almost entirely dependent on caregivers to meet their needs. Consequently, infant crying can assume an important role in ensuring the survival, health and development of the child. Increased crying among healthy infants in the Western world is now recognized in all infants in the first few weeks of life. This includes crying for prolonged periods of time for no discernible reason, a characteristic almost unique to the first few months of life. In fact, it isn't unusual for a normal infant to cry from 1 to 5 hours daily. In less than 5% of these infants is there every evidence of organic disease to help explain increased crying behavior. Furthermore, prolonged crying takes place despite excellent parental care. Fortunately, after the age of 5 months, the increased prolonged periods of inconsolable crying decrease, crying becomes more intentional, and is more related to events in the environment. All infants cry, but most of the crying is unexplained. The explanations often attributed to infant crying include pain, hunger, anger and boredom. Unexplained increased excessive crying within the first three months of life that occurs in otherwise. Depending on how it is defined, colic is said to affect about 10 to 20 percent of babies at this age. One salient characteristic is that it tends to follow a pattern of increasing for the first two months of life, peaking at about six weeks, and usually, 